it's been a long time since I did a channeling um, and I'm not really sure why um, I think the energy's just been a bit sort of I suppose just a lot of chaotic energy in uh, Melbourne so gosh my hair's windswept you could call it I'm just down at Bells Beach in um, on the coast just um, having a beautiful walk I just had this thought that came in oh, I haven't really done channeling and I don't really know why but I think sometimes you have to honour your energy and if it's not the right time for it then don't push it oh cute little dog <laughs> Only after its owner, I think. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I didn't walk this far either. Maybe I did. Goodness. Yeah. So I think that's. Uh, gosh, I even feel tired doing this. It's funny, isn't it? Um, I think that's just a, a bit of a an insight there for people it's just to honor when your energy is ebbing or low that we can't push for change and sometimes it's better for us to be in a cocoon because it's that we need that processing time like in a uh, chrysalis just getting a picture of a butterfly in a chrysalis you know so you can just kind of process and not just processing for me it's processing for other people as well <sighs> you have come so far and times have changed be aware of the merging shifts and changes of global control global perception of control it's just a perception our perception as a human race is shifting and will shift and continue to shift as we realize that we're not trapped illusion oh hello birdie oh my god that's so beautiful pretty free as a bird you can be as free as a bird you are as free as a bird you know that word you know that whole term of sovereignty and, and things like that concepts here. Oh, we've been told what to believe and who we are when in fact we're unlimited possibilities. Being told who you are is a limited reality. Breaking free from that perception of our reality is the key. There's a like shadows on a cave wall 
and the people within the cave were saying that that was their reality. They could see um, shadows on the cave wall. <coughs> superimposed and projected onto the cave wall. But this was what they thought the reality was. But it wasn't until they went outside that they realised that the world was 3D and there was like so much more to their reality. And I suppose it gives a perception of a reality that, you know, with the channeling of news and radio and the media, how powerful they are, or they think they are, on the perception of the humanity's reality. You know, they push a certain re reality onto everyone. I don't have a television, and I think it's a good idea that most people don't switch off. Was it drop out? Tune in, drop out. Dennis Leary, I think it's Dennis Leary. reality pushed onto us that we need to fear 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 our reality fear everything the people that use common sense can see that this is just an absolute you know man manipulation of our reality everything that's going on at the moment have a good hold of your psyche have a good hold of your psychological reality Realizing that we have unlimited possibilities is such a is such a freeing idea. I just want to see that beautiful ocean behind me. It is such a freeing idea when you realize that our perceptions are unlimited. Our imagination is unlimited. We can we can travel <clears throat> in our minds. the power to manifest our reality really based on the thoughts and the beliefs that we have well, I think with some amount of self discipline we can do that <coughs> suddenly <coughs> I think it's the wind <coughs> don't have the COVID <laughs> Bloody hell. see I'm just so over it I'm overhearing the same old thing I'm bored bored of it Please, like what are we coming out with next? What variant, blah blah blah, all that sort of perception of reality that I choose not to look at. Wouldn't you rather look at clouds? Let's have a look at what we can see in the clouds. What is our reality going to give us? What do we need to be aware of in the clouds? to ask what do I need to have a hold of in my reality what do I need to give my attention to give my attention to and I can see it's like a hook or kind of what do we what do we hold on to what are we attached to that's what the clouds telling me so it's my reality right I ask a question I have an intention and then a cloud Whatever it is on the outside, that could be the sand, could be the cloud, answers back. Um, so, what am I attached to? What am I attached to? Good question. Outcomes, I suppose. Certain outcomes that I hope to have, our reality has. But overall, on the larger scale of things, on the larger scale of humanity, are we attached to a certain outcome that our, our reality, our, our society, our civilization will return back to what it was before, normal or, you know, however.
whatever you perceive that to be, are you attached to an outcome? Or would you like to see a different outcome? I think it's good to perceive a new reality. But at the same time, there is wisdom in not being attached to it either. Because I think in some ways, our consciousness and our humanity has called this in. Oh, massive freaking truck next to me. Just as I'm speaking, it's so weird.